I need to know more about how to recognize the differences between popular and scholarly sources. I can find this information and more in Research Tips Central under the Research Help tab. Popular sources are useful for getting ideas for a topic or for background or anecdotal information, but I often need to cite scholarly articles which contain original research written by experts. Most databases allow me to limit my search to scholarly articles only. Scholarly articles come from journals, and they're usually pretty serious and direct. Popular articles come from magazines and newspapers with glossy, full-color pages and high-impact images. Scholarly articles might have a few images, but they'll be specific to that subject. Popular journals might have ads in them, even ones disguised as articles, but scholarly journals won't. Popular articles will be aimed towards news, entertainment, general information, advertising, and profit, and they'll use different language from scholarly articles. Although some popular articles are very well written, it's usually easily understood language and doesn't require any special knowledge. Scholarly articles will require technical or academic language and prior knowledge of theory, issues, or jargon. Most, but not all, scholarly articles are peer-reviewed, so they've been evaluated by other experts in the field and emphasize the authoritative validity and originality of the content. They'll also have citations, either in text or as a note, and usually a bibliography, also known as works cited or references. In this example, the author is using footnotes both for citations and bibliographic information. And the author is also an expert in the field, with his name and affiliations provided. If an author refuses to take a peer reviewer's advice, the article will usually be rejected due to poor quality. Peer review ensures that an article, and therefore the journal and scholarship of the discipline as a whole, maintains a high standard of quality, accuracy, and academic integrity. And when you consult peer-reviewed sources, you're tapping into that wealth of established, verified knowledge, and gaining a real credibility for your work. Popular articles will be written by journalists or professional writers. Sometimes no author or pretension will be given. That's a sure sign that it's a popular article, not a scholarly one. Also, if you're attracted to an article because of its short length, it's probably popular. Scholarly articles tend to be quite long, usually 10 to 30 pages. Luckily, they also tend to be well-structured, with explicitly labeled sections, so they flow really well. Now you can spot the differences between scholarly and popular, but don't worry, you can still be both. <laughs>